This platform lets you draw and render floor plans in just a few minutes. Let's face it, drawing floor plans is not the most fun part in architecture. It involves drawing lines, creating layers and adding blocks with numerous commands. And to create a presentation once again, we'll have to import the drawing into Photoshop or Illustrator to add textures and render it. But what if I told you that all of these processes can be done seamlessly in one single platform and it's completely free to get started? That is what we'll be looking at in this video and the platform is called Rayon Design. This platform integrates the best features of CAD and BIM, offering a wide variety of furniture blocks and also real-time collaboration with colleagues. So we'll walk through the platform and see how to access it and see how user-friendly it is. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. The link to this platform is in the description of this video, so check that out and follow along. And that will take you into the landing page of Rayon Design. And we can start off by choosing the start for free option on the top. We can either create an account or just use our Google account to log into this platform. Once you log in, this is what your homepage will look like. All the drawings that you create, which are called models, show up on the top and you have different templates here. One great thing is that we have a lot of templates to use from and also these templates are updated quite often and on the next tab we have tutorials and here we have detailed tutorials in both videos and text format for almost all the basic functions let's head back to the personal tab on the top right we have two options we can either import our drawing as a CAD, PDF or JPEG file or we can also create a new file from here let's choose a house template to begin with and to understand the basic interface of this platform so let's click this house template this is what the canvas looks like and we'll be making all our drawings in this page. So the basic function works this way. You can use the mouse crawl button to zoom in and zoom out of your drawing. And you can use the mouse center click to pan the drawing to the left or right. You can also pan your drawing by pressing the space bar. Now just in case you're not able to zoom in or zoom out, you'll have to change a small setting in this preference. So go to this drop down, choose preference, navigation mode and change to mouse. And you should be able to zoom in using the mouse crawl. Now let's look at all the functions that the Rayon interface has to offer. Starting from the top left, we have options to create a new model, import files from a local drive, and also options to export the drawing that we're currently making. We have options to edit, we have views, and preferences. Under preferences, we have the option to change the snap mode. Just make sure that all these options are turned on for us to draft much easier. Below that, we have options to change the units of the drawing. On the next tab, we have layers, and the table here is really simple and easy to use. Currently, this template has different layers for furnitures, shadows, annotations, and blocks. Under each layer, we have all the elements which can be selected here directly. The next category is blocks, and under this, we have blocks and libraries. Rayon has a library of over 2000 blocks to use from, and all of them are segregated in separate categories, making it really easy for us to use. The next tab is the styles, and under this, you can modify the properties of all the elements that are used in the drawing. For instance, you can choose these trees here and all the trees in the drawing get selected. You can then modify the colors, strokes and borders of all the trees at once. The next tab is the pages and this creates a template for us to export the drawing. The next tab is tables and under this you can create properties for each zone that you're creating and you'll be able to export them as an excel file. On the last tab, you have the comments section where you can add comments and assign a specific task to your team members or colleagues. To share this drawing with your teammates, we have to choose the share option on the top right corner and here you can invite them using their email ID. So right below that, when you choose any element, this selection tab opens up and under this selection tab, we can change the properties of that specific element. So if you select a wall here, we have options to change the thickness of the wall, the length, alignment, colors, hatches and so on. On the bottom, we have all the tools that lets us to create our drawing so let's open a new file and explore each of these options. Under these drafting tools, we have all the basic commands starting from the polylines, lines, circles, arches, rectangles and curves. Using these tools are pretty much the same as using them on AutoCAD, but just a lot more simpler and easier to modify. For each of these tools, we can type in the distance or the angle to create the shape. All these shapes can be modified individually to add a fill, change the stroke and the dashes. For the rectangle, we can type in the width and height to draw the shape. Similarly, the curve command can be used to create curved and organic shapes. The fourth icon here has options to modify all the elements that we are drawing. It has options to move, scale, mirror, copy and so on. And all of these pretty much work the same way as AutoCAD, but it has very less commands to use 
as opposed to AutoCAD. The second icon here is where we will start drawing the walls. Let's modify the thickness of the walls before drawing so it makes it easier. Drawing walls is pretty simple and intuitive. So click at the first point and move around to place the second point. We'll have the rulers which will help us create the angles of the wall. So the lines actually snap at 90 degrees. And once you draw a continuous rectangle, you can adjust the rectangle by just selecting one of the walls and moving it around. You can also scale by just selecting two of the corners. And to make curves, you can select the midpoint of the wall. Drawing walls works pretty much the same way as working on Revit or any other BIM software. To understand all its features and test its efficiency, we'll have to draft a flow plan to check it out. Let's start by creating walls of the flow plan. I have a very basic idea of a flow plan and I'll be drafting all the walls to begin with. Drawing these walls is really easy and you can just add a wall and drag it around in position. The dimensions of these walls are also accurate. This wall here can be an internal wall. So I'm just adjusting the thickness of this one by creating a new style and changing the thickness. I've drafted all the exterior walls here. Let's also add a balcony towards the end. Once done with the walls of the plan, let's start adding the doors, windows and the furniture blocks. Rayon offers a furniture library of about 2000 blocks. So let's check it out. Let's choose the blocks icon on top. And under libraries, we have all the categories of furniture blocks. Let's search for a door and it shows all the doors in the library and it also displays the dimension of each of them. When you drag a door towards the wall, you can see that it sits on the wall directly and will be able to mirror them or rotate them using these options below. You can also drag the doors in position along the same wall that you've placed and this makes the process really efficient. Let's do the same for the rest of the doors and for this bedroom here, I'm placing a sliding door. Another option is you can actually scale or reduce the width of the doors that you're placing. We can copy paste the doors and place them in the next wall. Once we have the doors, we can do the same for windows as well. So when we search windows, it shows all the categories and types based on the sizing. So let's just drag them around. And here I'm trying to create a corner window, some smaller window openings in the bathrooms. And I'm placing a large sliding window in this living area. The next step would be to add a furniture. So let's begin by searching for a bed. We have different types of beds with varying dimensions here. We can choose the wall and we can see that we have a distance of 2.75 meters. So let's choose a bed accordingly. I'm going to place this full double bed here. And since it doesn't have a side tables, we can just search for a table and place it and resize it. Another carpet block place under the bed. But since this is showing on the top, you can take it below by right clicking and choosing arrange. Similarly, let's search for other blocks like the wardrobe and a single bed in the other bedroom. And I would like to use this space as a working table. So that comes with a desk, a laptop on top and a chair. Let's begin with the bathroom blocks. We have different types of WCs, shower heads and glass partitions. I would like to place a six seater dining table in the center. And when you search for kitchen, you can see that you have a complete kitchen block ready to use. Let's put them in place and modify the blocks as per our design. Let's search for sofas and we have a group of a curved sofa with a carpet and table. Let's adjust this to fit our design. And we also need to place a table which shows the TV console. It's really fun to draft with Rayon. And as an architect, you get to focus on the design aspect rather than getting lost with the drafting part and the blocks. The library even has an extensive number of human figures and animals to add into your floor plan. Once we're done with the plan, we can add dimensions by creating a new layer and choosing the dimension option in the toolbar. This is a simple click and drag command as well. And you can choose all the dimensions at once and modify the arrows, text sizes and strokes. An amazing feature of Rayon is that we can draft and render the flow plans simultaneously in just one place. And this platform offers a great level of flexibility in the rendering styles. Before we render our drawing, let's browse through Pinterest and find some references for the style of drawing we make. Using Rayon, we'll be able to recreate any of the styles that you're seeing here. I'll be going with a simple style of solid walls and textures on the flooring with shadows. To begin adding textures to the floor plan, we need to create zones for each individual room in the plan. We have the zone option on the third icon in the drafting tools. And when you click on each room, it automatically selects the boundaries and creates a zone. Let's do that for all the rooms and balconies. And once done, you can click on a zone to add textures, hatches, solid colors, or even custom images. Let's add hexagonal hatches to the bathrooms, wooden textures to the bedroom, a rough flooring to the balcony, and a herringbone pattern to the living room. The walls can have a solid color, 
So let's choose the wall layer, select all the walls and add a grey color to it. We can also rename each zone as per the name of the room and let's select the human figures and add a light color to it. Let's populate the drawing with objects a little more and then start adding shadows. There isn't a direct way of adding shadows to the flow plan but we can do that by using the polygonal tool, removing the stroke and adding a grey color with reduced opacity. With that, let's just draw along the corners of the walls to create a shadow effect. The process of rendering and the style can be up to your own creativity and Rayon has a great flexibility to create any kind of style that you want. I'm adding some trees around the site and some shadows to it as well. And with that, the drawing is complete. Let's see how to export the drawing into a PDF and also into AutoCAD. To export the drawing, we need to go to the Pages tab and create a page around the drawing. Let's choose a vertical dimension and as you resize the page, the scale gets modified accordingly. So this fits in a scale of 1 to 60 and once done, you can choose the export all. From this, you can export it as a PDF or a PNG. And to export it as a CAD file, we'll have to go to the drop down menu, choose export and select DWG or DXF. Once you do that, the drawing gets downloaded and you can open that in AutoCAD. Inside AutoCAD, you can notice that all the hatches, elements and layers that we've created is retained and you can modify the drawing within CAD if you need as well. So that makes the workflow much more efficient and you have the rendered and the CAD drawing at the same time. We'll also be able to export the CAD drawing into Rayon as well. So that was it from the detailed tutorial on using Rayon. Personally, I've been using Rayon for a while now and it's been highly efficient, time saving without any compromise on precision. Check out the link in description to access Rayon. If you found this video to be helpful, please hit that like button. Comment down below if you got any questions. You can also follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.